And the worst part, crazy. it's genuinely true. It's only a matter of time before Ryan's parents, Bro, Shin and Loan, realize. Yo, what's the deal, YouTube? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what's going on, man. It's your boy RJ Dixon TV. I'm back again with another video, man. So, um, this video is titled Ryan World is Finally Over. Now, this video caught my eye, bro, because if you know, if you don't know who Ryan World is, like, I mean, you, you probably know who Ryan's World is. If you're on YouTube, you know who Ryan's World is, bro. Like, like, years ago, he was getting millions and millions and millions of views. All the kids knew him. He had stuff in Target. Like, I'm talking about Ryan World was going crazy. But um, this video caught my eye because I seen the title, and I was just wondering, like, dang, where have he been, bro? Like, I literally want to know where have he been. So, we about to watch this video and see what's going on, man. So, before we do that, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell Let's get into it, man. Let's go, man. Ryan's World is a YouTube channel that sits at a staggering near 40 million subscribers. And with a young kid in the profile picture and the brightly colored banger, you can make the assumption that this is just any other kid's channel. However, when you realize the true dark side about his parents controlling and manipulating his entire life, mm. a full decade of making the exact same videos targeted directly to kids and being publicly humiliated nowadays, it doesn't exactly sound all that appetizing. That him Ryan now? began his channel at the ripe age of four, creating videos such as Ryan opens Easter egg surprise, Ryan plays with Play-Doh, and giant lightning McQueen egg surprise. Right. Nothing seems skeptical at all. Although one major contributing factor to keep filming these videos was the sheer view count. 32 million views, 30 million views, 1.1 billion views. This amount of views when Ryan wasn't even beginning preschool yet was groundbreaking and to no surprise was spread across the entire internet. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan is only seven years old, but he's already selling out aisles of toys at Walmart and Target like a retail veteran. What's surprising is that in an interview with Ryan and his two parents, Shin and Loan, they state that they had no say in Ryan creating a YouTube channel and that it was fully his idea. When I was three, I was watching other people and I was like, why am I not on there? And I started my own YouTube channel. His mom, who was a teacher Very at the time, smart. took him shopping for a toy and he opened it on camera. It would be his first video. Although there's no real guarantee that this was the case because for majority of kids at that age, cracking the code to the YouTube algorithm wouldn't exactly be their first preference. However, over the course of the next nine years, Ryan was unaware Damn. that his entire life was about to change forever. Making over $22 million in a single year back in 2016, and now in 2024, having an estimated net worth of over $100 million. Not exactly a bad life for someone that hasn't even reached his teenage years yet. Now, you'd naturally assume that Ryan's parents would be smart with the money they've earned and set aside enough for Ryan and generations to come. Oh yeah, but facts. that he simply better. couldn't be further from the truth. Ryan's mom has a criminal history of stealing items from a clothes shop, failing to pay back the fine, do her community service, and therefore spent a month of her life in jail. And his dad isn't exactly the most likable man on- Okay, okay, okay. Before they go further, man, why you gotta bring up old stuff? You know, they were probably struggling. She had to do what she had to do. Like, you never know. I mean, 2002, she was probably young. Like, come on, man. Come on now. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see what else they say. We're gonna see. On the internet, either. On track to be a teenage billionaire. How much does Ryan get to keep of all this? Oh, be careful, Ryan. <laughs> so, what exactly caused mm. the downfall of Ryan's World? In August of 2022, the Ryan's World YouTube channel would receive 468 million views. Fast forwarding two years later, and that number is just shy of 300 million. And while that number is still higher than majority of YouTubers will ever get in their entire career, there is still a downward slope in the views over the long run. What's more noticeable though, is when checking the view counts on recent Ryan's World videos, they only range anywhere from 100,000 to 500,000. 
For a channel that is still getting 100,000 subscribers weekly and on average 15 million views over the course of 24 hours. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, bro. 400,000, 100,000, whatever, all that, th that's, a, that's still a whole lot of views. That's a lot of views, you know, but to go from, y'all seen he had billions of views, 32 million, like, that's crazy. That's a crazy down, like, that's crazy. That's crazy work, but, I mean, it's still a lot of views. I wish I had them views, shit, but, you feel me? Hours, something is going wrong. The most prominent feature that Ryan isn't the same kid that exactly. he used to be. Yep. Back in 2016, Ryan is seen enjoying himself and is clearly happy to be in the videos, mm -hmm. playing with the toys that you can tell genuinely interest him. But nowadays, Ryan is seen still dressing up in the same costumes and acting a way that no near teenager would act in videos such as Ryan Goes to Superhero School Challenge. 999,998. 999,999. One million. Morning workout complete. I'm ready for superhero school. While I head to school, check out this clip from Ryan's World the Movie, Titan Universe Adventure. Therefore, it's no surprise that comments have been disabled, as well as a significant dislike to like ratio mm. at 62%. It also doesn't help that this exact clip has been spreading on TikTok, gaining over 37 million views with the caption, let bro retire already. And the comments definitely didn't miss anything either. Like bro, Evan Tube already graduated, half a million likes. The bills cannot be this high. <laughs> I know he gets bullied for this. He's counting how many videos he's done, which are all completely <laughs> wow. fair points. Similar kid creators like Evan Tube have moved on and stopped creating the content they were once making, even if they did see a significant decline in views. The same can be said with what used to be a kid's channel called The Gem Sisters, which, just like Ryan, grew up. But instead of creating the same content that they did nine years ago, they instead shifted to vlogging their day-to-day -day lives and making content that actual teenagers should make. Exactly. The news about Ryan's world still creating the same videos aimed at kids whilst not directly being a kid anymore spread around social media in a matter of just days. And wow. other YouTubers were quick to the topic. A user called Soggy Serial would upload destroying your kid's life for views. So now Ryan is just being- Like, hold on, like- let me pause real quick. Like, I was going to say the same thing. Like, just switch up the content, bro. He's getting older. You got to switch up the content, man. Like, just go to day. You can go to daily vlogging. Just like he said, like, the other sisters or whatever. Switched up to daily vlogging, vlogging their lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he, he, he's, he's somebody, bro. He made a name for himself. He can he can vlog himself. You know, just chilling, do vlogs. But opening toys at, what? how old is he now? What did they say, 11, 12? I don't, I don't even know, bro. But it, he's too old to be doing that, bro. You got to switch it up, man. Switch it up. Switch it up, man. Being used as a puppet by his parents and managers to squeeze out the last bit of cash he's got in him. Not just sacrificing his childhood in the process, but also his future. If Jake Lloyd got relentlessly bullied in high school for playing Anakin Skywalker, the literal chosen one in Star Wars, I don't want to know what will happen to one of the most goofy kids known on the internet, who's being forced to do whatever this is at the age of 12 for everyone to see. Mm. And another creator, Curse, would upload Ryan's world is crumbling. But I really hope for Ryan's sake, this YouTube saga ends soon for him, so he can actually try to live a normalist life for however long he can he was already stripped of a normal childhood granted he got into content creation when he was four but he honestly doesn't need to do it anymore they're already rich and if they somehow blew through 100 million in eight-ish years they deserve to be poor the most noticeable comment on every video about ryan's world is talking about his childhood and any chance of making friends throughout high school has practically been ripped right away from him they also talk about the high probability that Ryan will get bullied for the rest of his life, as Ryan has one of the biggest digital footprints in the world, so he can't simply just disappear without a trace. On the 22nd of August 2024, John Yushai would upload a 53 minute video to YouTube titled, Meet YouTube's Richest 12 Year Old, Ryan's World. 
where he would interview Ryan, his parents, and discuss with them how they built Ryan's world into one of YouTube's biggest empires. What originally was planned to be a heartfelt interview with Ryan answering most of the questions himself mm -hmm. turned into a complete nightmare when he would barely get a chance to say anything and instead his dad did nearly all the talking. When you guys look ahead, like any other projects that you're most excited about, like the future of the channel, like how do you think about the future of Ryan's world and your business and your family? You know, right now, I feel like we're at the uh, tipping point where like the movie was it's a great moment. And from there, you know, we wanted to kind of um, step aside and think about what we want to go. Ryan's turning 13 years old this year, so he's turning teenager. So we're thinking about, do we want to introduce something like that? Man, he's sitting there looking like, man, shut the hell up. That's not what I want to say. He looking like, man, my future. He probably want to do something totally different. He probably, he probably would still like YouTube, but maybe not because he's been doing it since he was four. He already rich, man. He probably retired, bro. He probably don't even want to do no, be on a camera no more, bro. You know, even if he do, I'm pretty sure he don't want to do this. So align with you just age, like more uh, for pre aligned to the preteen demographic or we want to stay on with the uh, going more for the animation that, that's something we're kind of debating right now this interview alone would go on to gain upwards of 2 million views but the comments had something entirely different to say i can't wait for the real ryan interview in 10 years and not just his parents being interviewed with him present I feel like in 20 years, we will see a Netflix documentary about how his parents robbed him blind, pushed him for more yeah. and more content, and he becomes an addict and loses everything. I interviewed Ryan, incorrect. I interviewed Ryan's parents, correct. Bro, let bro talk. It feels like they hiding some shit. It got so bad that another YouTuber would mock the entire interview and change up the thumbnail to what he is currently experiencing. And the worst part, crazy. it's genuinely true. It's only a matter of time before Ryan's parents, Shin Bro, and Loan, is, realize the utter catastrophe that they have created for their son. What they originally thought was what they will be doing for the rest of their lives, generating millions of dollars every month, has slowly turned in to exactly what they fear the most, cancellation. And it seems at this current moment, this is what's happening. As this drama is only spreading further and further across social media, so it's anyone's best guess as to how the Ryan's World channel will continue to grow now that Ryan is finally a teenager. Ryan's you ever World is- That's crazy, bro. They gotta switch up the content, bro. They gotta switch up the content, do something different, or just let them be. I feel like they got enough money, man. But like, they, like, like, I, like the other dude said, I just stuttered so hard. But anyways, like the like the one dude said, man. He said if they blew over a hundred million already in eight years or so, they deserve to be poor. And it just it just don't make sense to me. Why can't they switch up the content, bro? Like they scared of the views falling, but the views is already falling because people don't want to see him look like he don't want to do something. I don't know, man. Hit y'all, um, hit the comment section. Let me know what y'all think, man. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Out.